<laughs> Look what I did to my glasses. <laughs> God, it's always something with me. Hey everybody, looks into here. Welcome back to the Lou. We are doing what I promised in the last video, which is working with the skins from that pour we did over the vase and onto the canvas. In a future video, I'm not sure exactly when, but the vase will dry. It, it needs a few weeks. This paint pour is from a week ago. These are the skins and they're still really tacky underneath. So the vase will need a long time to dry. So in a future video, we will be resining that and you'll see how much the resin makes the whole thing pop even more. But that's for the future. We are going to work with the skins today has promised to do some jewelry making. So these are the paint pours we just did in the last video. And then I have some older ones I thought we could use. These are from paint pours I did probably more than a year ago. They do get much more leathery as they dry, but they're still pliable, they're still usable. And this one is, I couldn't begin to tell you which video any of these are from, but they're all beautiful, which is why I saved them. I'm gonna show you how we turn these very, very easily into jewelry. I have my little basket of supplies here that I use. I started off using Aline's jewelry and metal glue because, you know, it tells you exactly what it's for. But what I discovered pretty quickly when I opened it is that it is super glue. So now I just use whatever super glue I can get my hands on. It works fine. And then we have these little I'm going to call them backings. I think I miscalled them bezels at one point. They're backings, and they come in many, many, many different shapes and sizes. We have big rectangles. We have little rectangles. We have uh, some pretty hearts. And what else do I have here? Some squares. We have them in sort of a brass look, and we have them in the silver look. Here are the silver squares. And uh, yeah, they're all beautiful. Now these are some pieces I already did. I can probably find these videos because I think I did them all at once. Aren't they that pretty? If you want to see how I made these, which will be the same thing we're going to do today, but if you want to see how these exact pieces were made, I will link to this video or these videos below. There may be two videos. I don't, I don't remember. It was quite a while ago. We're going to start by using the other half of the backings, which are the cabochons, the glass pieces. These are basically glass blobs. You can make them with resin, clear epoxy resin. I've seen people do it. Uh, I've chosen to go the easy route and buy them pre-made. These are glass, therefore, because they're easier, I think, to be manufactured. Glass cabochon. And we have the squares and we have ovals. We have the small rectangles and the large rectangles and the hearts. What you do, as you get your skin that you want to take part of, you pick a cabochon and basically you just put it on here and you move it around. The domed feature of the glass brings out slight magnification, the pattern of the skin underneath, and you find a place that you think would look really pretty and then we glue it down there. I mean, it's, it's really, it's really simple. So we have the cab cabochon where we want it. We're gonna pick it up and we're gonna put some super glue there, put this back down and sort of smoosh it around because you want complete coverage. I don't know if these are really showing up very well on camera. I will get better shots of them for you. Put the glue on the cab this time and then put it back on here <laughs> and make a mess, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna put this one off to the side and we're gonna pull these blue ones back because I think they're ready to go. And we're basically just gonna cut around the cab, the glass. We're gonna cut out our piece of jewelry. You can, of course, go around this again and trim it with scissors if you want. Like that, pry it up off the... Uh -oh. oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, no. Ah! Yay! Oh no! <laughs> Look at 
Look what I did to my glasses. <laughs> God, it's always something with me. So now we're gonna do the same thing we just did, except this time the glue goes in the backing and this goes in on top. Et voila! My friend Eleanor lent me, well, she didn't lend me, she gave me some ribbon to use when I made these previous ones and this red ribbon went well with this beautiful red paint pour skin. We're just doing the actual pendant piece, obviously, this time around. But this is the perfect sort of thing to take to a craft show, you know, a craft fair type situation. If you have a booth and you want to offer things other than say resin tumblers or candles or whatever your main thing is, you can have a whole collection, especially if you do paint pouring, of these beautiful, really easy to make pieces of unique jewelry. The back of these skins that we just did last week is still really tacky, so I probably don't even need glue, but best to use it just in case. We've just made two beautiful pendants that nobody else in the world will ever have. They are unique. Wow, this is a really thick skin. <laughs> I am not a thick skin person, and you really need to be if you're going to be on a YouTube channel. You really need thick skin. Just one more thing I admire about Anthony Crammon is his ability to not give a shit about what people say to him and about him. The things he has had written to him in some of his comments are just... I mean, I, I get upset sometimes with stuff people say to me, but it's nothing like they say to him. It's bad. Doesn't happen often. Not saying he gets a lot of hate, but it's way too much of it. There shouldn't be any at all. He's one of my favorite people on all of YouTube, and he should not get hate. He's just such a nice person. A little aside there. Okay, so I need a square and I need a small rectangle. I will put the supplier of all of these. They come together, so you get a backing and the matching cabochons, which makes perfect sense. You can buy them separately if you happen to end up with a whole bunch of backings and for some reason you've used up all your cabochons or you lost them or something. So you don't have to buy sets. I think I'm gonna go with the antique brass look. There we go. Make sure they fit in here. Yeah. They should. As long as you cut right around the base of the cab, they should, they should fit with no problem. And then we'll glue them in. I can get you a close up and I will, we're gonna have a sunny day tomorrow. So I'll take these outside. These are previous examples. That was a paint pour I did where I added glitter on top of the painting, which is why this has a special sparkle to it. I think this looks more like a fire opal as a result. Stay tuned because we're gonna do the big, hopefully nice sunny sunshine shot of these. Stay safe, everyone. I will see you on November 18th. Otherwise, look for another community post if I say I can't do it on the 18th. I may put it off another week. Won't know till I get there. I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. Don't go away. Mm -hmm.